Greetings and welcome, my friends. This is Lucifer. No, wait, it's Lucifer. I didn't know dude was a lion. We're kicking off with a three-lander. We've got at least two of each color if we fetch up a swamp with the passage. A couple of removals should be able to hold off the enemy men while we try to take advantage of the Shrieker. Keep your pants on. Our surveil land shows we got more early removal on the way. We're not sure what we're playing against, but more removal never hurts. Boras, the mindless ones. Our removals should find targets against them. Maybe they're playing all deserts. What are the odds they'll have another 18 more lands that hit us for one damage each? All right, let's fetch up a swamp, and we'll be set to play out the majority of cards in our deck, as far as the color requirements go. We draw an Overlord, and we'll play him out. We'll get the ramp and start taking off some of those impending counters. They check it out. It's a coming, bro. You'd better put on some pants that don't stain. They play out a hive, but it's an enchantment, and one thing we're sure we'll be able to do is snipe enchantments all day long. It feels good knowing we stacked our deck against a specific card type, and opponents are playing them out. Not that we can only take out enchantments and artifacts. We've got ammo for all of their stuff. Hey, that's yet another enchantment. They're loaded with them. You're going to be skating uphill, bro. We untap with the Shrieker on board. Let's get in there. We'd love to pay the full cost and get this Overlord, but if we get something juicy, let's have the two mana up to flip it over. They hit the Shrieker with removal, but only after the trigger. We'll still get a guy, but it'll be harder to flip if it's something big. Well, nothing big, so we'll have just a 2-2 in play, which is fine. All that's left is to decide which of these we want in the grave. Eeny meeny my Nemo. I hope they stub their toe. They play out Control's latest sweetheart, but we've got a fix for that. It's called She Oldred's Edict. That's right. I hope you enjoy your treasure token. That was a good use of mana. Not that we're terrified of their lads, we just like keeping them to a minimum. And zero sounds like a pretty solid number to me. Fire in the hole. One of our overlords comes out of hibernation and they have only a board of enchantments and a treasure. I'd say things are looking pretty good. They take out our overlord at the cost of two cards. I'm impressed, bro. Another enchantment, and we're looking at their lads being a beefy 3-3 already, and they hit us for two when they enter. One is too many. We'll snipe this one too. The longer we delay them with their lads, the longer it'll take for them to get us to three poison. And every one of their turns, the hive hits them for one. They're so busy playing enchantments, I gotta wonder if they bothered with regular men.
Fleshy arrives at the right moment. We'll play him out for the full price, and now we've got a guy that can hit hard and is difficult to deal with. They have to use two cards to take out our Overlord. This time he goes to the grave so he'll be coming back once we land a Virtue. They send their lads, but we're fine going back up to 20 life. They undid all the work they've put in so far this game. For one poison, we'll land one of our Virtues this turn. They might not have men, but killing our stuff really won't matter much now. They'll come back turn after turn. That's right, we don't give a block. The lads won't have lifelink until their next turn and by then it might be too late. They boost their lads, but that's still only 10 damage and we're at 21. And I don't see any blockers over there. I had forgotten about their Beza, let's grab it from their grave. We'll get an extra draw. That's too much for them, apparently. GG's, bro. I know we said there wasn't much you could do to upgrade the deck, but there is a card that should be in here. We're gonna take a moment to go ahead and make a change to the deck and bring in another weapon. First, we need to make some room, and we sacrifice Lord Valdemort, I mean Valgavoth, going down the list, and the rooms are the ones that don't really fit in. It's a singleton, and we already have the Black Virtue. Now let's go find our card. We'll be heavy in the three slot, but we're missing four drops, so it should work out fine. This is Aunt Tony. No wait, it's Anthony. He looks a little scared. We get a three lander with a pair of removals and our overlord along with the Dark Knight. I like this, as we like to say around here, keep your pants. On. Bro throws down a Rot Priest without knowing what we're playing. That takes guts. They dig up a land, which is not something I would have seen coming. Bro, your stuff shouldn't cost all that much to need land fetching. We'll play out a forest this turn as we want to be able to snipe their Rot Priest. If they go to play a guy, we'll fire it off. Or if they try a pump spell of some kind. They send it, but we'll fire off a Heat Seeker to nail them on the way here. That's a stone cold no from us, bro. I don't want none. They land a Canker Bloom, which is fully capable of taking out our Overlord. And we don't have the mana to snipe it. We'll go with Glissa this turn. She should be able to brick wall their men and let us swing in on our next turn. We added Glissa because when she connects, we can use her ability to take counters off a permanent. That will let us get our Overlords out for cheap, as well as being a threat to opposing Planeswalkers. They could take out the Overlord, but we'll still get the ramp anyways. And five is the magic number for the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight is good at beating face. They haven't seen a land token before, apparently. Don't touch my token, bro. We miss on drawing a land, but the Dark Knight was our play this turn anyways. Get in there, bro. The Canker Bloom's pants are about to be pulled down and his whole side will be exposed. They've got another Bloom, but those guys are not much of a threat. And they're down to one card in hand, while we've got ammo stockpiled to the rafters. We get another Glissa. As long as they don't have more removals, she can hold their men off while we hit in the air. The Dark Knight doesn't block, he goes in. The Force discard is amazing, and can really wreck opposing decks. They toss their one card, and it's a T-Rex. We wrecks it all right. It wouldn't have done much with Glissa on blocking duty. 
As tempting as it is to snipe one of their men with the virtue, they can sacrifice the target and we'd lose the enchantment. It's better to hold off and wait to play it out for the full seven mana price. They finally snipe our overlord. Rest in peace, bro. You got us the token land, and that was what we needed to get to where we are right now. They messed up and held a land. The Dark Knight is gonna get you, bro. We don't get a draw if they have a card in hand, but if they toss a land, we get a bat token. Now it's the Dark Knight and Robin. They're going to take the opponent to Fist City. It's tempting, isn't it? But they can still sacrifice their bloom to proliferate. And that's just not what we want. We'll continue to hit with the Dark Knight and Robin. They really seem to like those canker blooms. They're all right, especially with a new set full of enchantments. But they don't really advance the whole poison theme since they have to be sacrificed just to add one poison counter. Your weapons are not weapons, bro. It's like trying to use a wet noodle as a sword. They are outmanned and outgunned. The Ripper should seal the deal. There's not much they can have in their deck to combat our team. That's GG's. The land fetching card they played early on wrecked their chances. This is Toe Jam with a partial zip code. No wait, it's Mo Jam on that toast. Am I right, bro? You like to put it on there. We're on a roll with these three landers. We've got one removal, but we have our sneaky card along with an overlord and the dark knight again. Keep, as an added bonus, we get to go first too. That doesn't happen often. We have to fetch out a forest with the passage to be able to land our overlord on turn three. Artifact for us? Bro cooked up something not even close to being on anyone's radar. That is a powerful combo right there, bro. I'm not sure what to say. Our overlord doesn't know what to say either. He shows up and all he does is make a token land. They land a loyal steed. It's loyal until we kill it and play a virtue. These jokes write themselves.
We get a surveil land and we'll play it out right away. We have the mana we need to snipe the steed, and that's really all we're concerned about. Bro, your steed just left you. He's loyal to Belize. It's a doll party over there. Pretty cute and creepy all at the same time. I mean, who likes to play with dolls? We could snipe their team individually or we could chum the water. Shark them all is what we say. We draw a virtue which will start driving in the nails to their coffin. For now, we'll throw down the Dark Knight. They've got plenty of cards to toss, so we should help them out. Bro is eyeballing our overlord. Do they have a removal? Or a pile of shocks? That would be shocking. They managed to deal with the Dark Knight. He's sent to Belize even, and I'm pretty sure he's never been to Belize. An enchantment removal? That's totally the wrong answer, bro. If there's anything this deck does well, is eliminate enchantments and artifacts. As much as we'd like to smack them with our angry outhouse, we've got an enchantment to snipe. Let's ship the turn and let them have their fun. They go without plays and they have seven lands. What are they holding? Anyways, we'll free up our overlord. He wants to get out of jail free. And as a bonus, we'll add another token land. That'll be enough to play out our virtue. Or play out the fleshy we drew. Before playing him out, let's get in for damages. Damages, bro. Damages. And now a full price fleshy. He's hungry for opponent flesh. A board wipe will save their bacon for a little while at least. We've got the virtue to throw down and make them hit the panic button turn after turn. That's a second fleshy. When life gives you fleshy, make fleshy aid. It looks like they want to target our fleshy. By all means, bro, go ahead and use something to tap it and don't be afraid to pay the ward. they throw down a terror. It's not really that frightening when you have a full-size fleshy. And a way to snipe the 2-2. Fleshy gets a taste and likes it. All we need is one more hit. They need to play out a blocker or they are toast. No jam, despite their Mojam name. There will not be more jam. Only plain burnt bread. Oopsie poopsie bro. That is rather awkward. They play a guy that makes another guy on board suspect. That's a suspect card, sure, but now they put themselves in a bind. They can't target Fleshy, 
and they don't want to target one of their own men, since they need both to be able to block. It looks like they'll be making their own turkey a suspect in a long line of suspect plays. You've scrooged the pooch, bro. Now you can't block up. You can see them slowly start to figure it out. That's G, G's Toe Jam. Thanks for coming. This is hockey skin. No wait, it's hockey shin. It's like tennis elbow. We get a three lander with some of the fixings, like a removal, at least two of each color, and a pair of board wipes. It looks clunky, but we do have a surveil land to help us out, and by some miracle we're going first again, keep. Looking ahead gives us another removal. If we're not removing, we're not playing our brand of MTG. Let's keep it. The opponent throws away a land, maybe they kept a five lander. If they miss a land drop before they hit four mana, that will be an oopsie poopsie. Another great thing about Glissa is she is great at drawing fire. Not only is she worth sniping, but having three more cards in the deck that force the opponent to use removal should really help out our cause. A dragon's deck? But yes, they're forced to show us what they're up to early on. Rest in peace, Glissa. We draw a Shrieker. That's perfect. We'll play him out and risk them having another removal, but it's worth the risk if he sticks around and gets us something good. They got the passage thing going. They must have had them from the beginning, which is why they tossed a land at the start. fourth land was badly needed. We could use a fifth one as well, and we'll be solid. Let's get in for a shrieking good time. Scream like nobody is listening, my friends. Oh wow, that's quite a pair. Too bad we can't take them both. We already have a Shelly in hand, so we'll nab the Ripper. That's a hasty 4-4 dragon incoming. They'll blow chunks in their pants when they see what we're about to flip over. Bring it, bro. Or you could use it to block. Oh, sweet. They send it with special postage. Let's flip this waffle and, and eat. Eat their dragon. Say hello to my little friend. The dragon dies and the pants explode. GG's, bro. GG's. And that, my friends, is another satisfied customer.